welcome. I'm gonna give people time to come in. There's usually like a 10 second lag um, in between this time. So wanted to welcome everyone. You're probably watching this from three different platforms. So my name is Nakia. For those of you who are meeting me for the first time, I'm known as Beauty Cut Right all over the social media world. And I'm also the creator of Wig Making 101, as you're probably watching on that particular platform. So my Beauty Cut Right channel, you're also watching on my Wig Making 101, and you're probably looking in the listening community as well. So wanted to welcome you. Let us know where you're watching us from. If you're here because you were brought here by me, or if you're here because you were brought by with a girl, Ansela, <laughs> let us know. Um, we are here. Well, first, I want to introduce Ansela again. Some of you uh, have met her in a live we did last month, correct, Ansela? We did mm -hmm. a, a live last month. Yes, yeah, mm -hmm. so I wanted to introduce her again. We decided to partner up definitely to help you uh, all with your businesses, especially entrepreneurs. And this is all about the focus of cryptocurrency. There is going to be an economic shift and we want to be on the right side of things and not on the left side of things. So I wanted to introduce Ansela to you all and give her the platform. Uh, if you are watching, let us know where you're from. Don't be shy because we're going to be having questions at the end of this. I know this is something new to most of you. So um, just stay tuned and, and just have your ears open and your heart open as well. So Ansela, I give you the <laughs> thank you, thank you, Nikia. First of all, for, I want to thank you so much for inviting me here to your platform. I know you've put in a lot of work to connect with your large community, so I applaud you for that because that is no easy feat. And thank you for allowing me allowing me to speak. I'm so glad we connected, as both of us have a history and background in the beauty industry, and now we're focusing on a more financial um, platform to help to help people understand, to give people some options. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. Just one way that you can, uh, one strategy that you can consider to change your financial situation. So I'm gonna share screen because I love slides. Uh, can you see my screen? Let's see. You can see it? Yep. And can you see oh, it? Oh, perfect. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> Look, I can see it. I can't see you anymore, but I can see it. <laughs> All right, everybody. So what Nikki and I are doing, we're calling our series because this is just the first. This is not the only thing that we're going to share. Financial strategies for the beauty and fashion industry. Because one thing that we can definitely say is that the past two years, so many people have been affected by what's going on around the world. This is episode one, Boost Your Salon Profits with Cryptocurrency. We'll talk about expanding your market, the benefits of cryptocurrency, and how and why you can accept cryptocurrency payments. So I'm going to go through this. Again, I can't see the chat. Um, Nakia, if you want to interject and let me know if someone has a question, we can do that. We can also have Q&A at the end, but we want to make sure that you walk away feeling empowered, each and every one of you. So I have to do disclaimer because I am not a financial advisor. So this is for general informational and educational purposes only. It is not intended to constitute legal, tax, accounting, or investment advice. I am simply sharing information about what I've been doing for the past four years. As I mentioned, the pandemic has affected businesses around the globe. And so I did a little research and I found some interesting insight on Glossy. And the title of the write-up was called The Future of Salons in a Post-COVID-19 World. Two things stood out to me in this article. They said that salons of all types will have to evolve. Evolution is critical. So we can't keep doing things the old way. Just like with any other business, we have to keep evolving as well to keep up with what is happening in our industry, as well as technological advances around the globe. The second thing they said is salons will have to find ways to differentiate themselves. So now I'm sure Nakia could do a whole series by herself on that. <laughs> <laughs> but today we're going to talk about one way to differentiate yourself and how you can evolve when it comes to technology. 
So if cryptocurrency is new to you, we're not going to get so much into what crypto is, how it can help you. But I did a YouTube video a few months back and I asked Nakia to share that. So she kindly sent that out with the email she sent out to invite you to this event. And so if you want to check that out, feel free to do so. It gives you a little bit more insight about cryptocurrency. But today we're just going to focus on how cryptocurrency can help you in your business. So why get involved in crypto now? That's the question. I, I wish I could see the chat because I'm so used to chat interaction. <laughs> but do me a favor. If you've heard of crypto, can you give me a one in the chat? Nakia can kind of tell me what kind of responses we're getting. And if you um, if you already own crypto, if you can give me a two in the chat. So let's just kind of get a gauge of who's in the audience. If you have heard of it, but you don't own any, let's get a one. And if you own crypto, let's get a two in the chat. And while you do that, and before I answer why we want to get involved in crypto now, I want to tell you just a little bit about me. Who am I and why am I coming to you today to talk to you about cryptocurrency of all things? Yeah, ones, I was a natural. I'm sorry. What you say, Nakia? We got some ones. We got some, we got some twos. Candace is a two. Angela's a one. Great. So we are from some people are familiar. Excellent. That's excellent to hear. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, everyone who commented. Um, so I was a natural stylist and international educator for 17 years. I absolutely loved doing natural hair. I specialized in locks. And because I started doing natural hair kind of early in the game before it got so popular, I was pretty known. So I had an opportunity to teach. I taught across the U.S. I taught in London, Paris, and Spain. I actually had students that would come from as far as South Africa to take my classes. I had some specialized lock classes. And I loved it. And I felt like it was just such an important mission that I was on. And I was committed to helping stylists primarily to thrive in the natural hair business. I um, met some great people. As you see here, they met Tabitha Coffee. That was cool. I actually was on a show with Darren Henson, uh, the morning show in Alaska. This was my first time on stage at the UK. And I was honored in 2017 as an international stylist of the year. And this was in uh, Paris. Mm -hmm. I was a judge at a competition in Paris. So it was, it was a wonderful experience, but I just got to where I needed to do something different but I had no idea what I, what I could do. I didn't want to go back to school. I didn't want to start a whole business all over again. So I just kept plugging along. And then y'all, June, 2017. <laughs> <laughs> we both had this experience. Nikki and I have lived in the parallel universe for like the past 20 years, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> So June 2017, I was installing sister locks. Those of you who are familiar with natural hair know that is a very tedious uh, process. But about a quarter of the way through the service, I had a full-blown panic attack. Like, couldn't breathe, thought I was going to faint, heart racing, vision blurry. I had never experienced that before. But that was my wake-up call. That was my wake-up call to say, hey, you have to do something different or you're going to lose it. And I, that's what I decided that very night. I went home. I was planning a trip to Ghana. I said, okay, I'm going to go to Ghana. And when I come back, I'm just going to figure it out. I closed my salon, went on an amazing life-changing trip, came back, and reality hit. What in the world are you going to do for income? You have no job, girl. <laughs> right? So that was me at the end of 2017. So I started just looking for ways to earn income that wouldn't require so much of my time. And the more I thought about it, I said, you know, wealthy people, they don't work this hard because why? Their money and their assets work for them. So I had to find a way to take my little bit of resources that I had. I didn't have much just to work with, believe you me, but I had to find a way to parlay that into income that I could take care of myself. And that's what led me to cryptocurrency. So since I closed my salon in 2017, I've had time freedom, which means I can work anywhere I want, how I want, and when I want. That's what I was looking for. Now, this was my journey. This was what I was looking for. By no means am I telling anybody else to walk away from your business. <laughs> business, right. <laughs> but I share what, I, what my experience was because 
if I can do it, you can do it. If you want to keep working, you can still put your assets to work. Believe me. So this is something that can really work with whatever goals you have. So since 2017, and I started to learn, I started to understand crypto. So I said, I want to help other people. So since then, I now focus on helping women over 40, along with others to become crypto confident by demystifying crypto and simplifying the related processes. And I have helped people around the world to start their crypto journey, primarily because of my book, Start Your Crypto Journey in Three Simple Steps, now on Amazon. Yay! So <laughs> the English paperback and ebook are both available on Amazon. It's available in French on my website, still working to get it on Amazon. So this is just my way of helping people or making information available that is simple and easy to understand. Because when you first hear about crypto or someone's told you about it, sometimes they just don't make it easy. It's, it's confusing and it's different and it's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Abstract, right? Abstract. For some people, yeah, it's, for some people, it's really hard to grasp. So I have these two great reviews from two respected people in the crypto world. And this, these two comments, actually, from Ross McDonald and from Diamond Michael Scott, these two comments are what, put, what um, prompted me to put it on Amazon. Because at first, I just had it on my website. I wasn't sure if I wanted to make it available you know, to the world, so to speak. So once they, I got this, I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and put it out there. So ah, that's enough of that. So that's why I did <laughs> start your crypto journey in three simple steps. All right. So let's get back to our question. Why get involved in crypto now? Um, are there any questions, anything in the chat, Nikki? Are we good? No questions yet. But if you all have questions, please put them in the chat. That allows us to be able to come and answer those questions right when we're done. And we are going to have like the last 10 or 15 minutes uh, for questions and answers, too. But, yeah, go ahead and put those in the chat. They haven't put any in yet. They're probably okay, still great. listening. Like, why get involved first? <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So I'm going to give you three reasons why I get involved in crypto now. Reason number one. Timing is everything. I used to do a, a big um, spreadsheet breaking down the value of Bitcoin in 2009 and all this kind of stuff. But I'm going to tell you my personal experience because I didn't get Bitcoin in 2009. However, in 2019, I did get Ethereum. And at that time, it was $200 per coin. At the end of 2021, it was almost $5,000. So because I got in early... And now, of course, it's dipped since then, but it's unlikely that Ethereum will ever go back to $200 per coin. Because even right now, it's like $3,000 and change. So I'm still at a 15x gain. So this is why it's important to get in now, understand the market about when to purchase, because timing really is everything. And we get into all of that when I you know, do trainings and so forth. The second reason, in uh, March, early March, President Biden signed an executive order about cryptocurrency. So if you notice the highlighted here, it says digital assets, including cryptocurrencies, have seen explosive growth in recent years, surpassing a $3 trillion market cap. OK, now this is just one small example of how governments are paying attention to cryptocurrency. And the reason that matters is because if you have governments now passing laws, um, putting tax requirements and legislation in place, that's a sign that this stuff is real and it's going to be here. So reason number two is more and more major corporations, government agencies are paying attention to cryptocurrency. The sooner we understand it, the better. And the third reason, and this is my favorite, because if nothing else to me indicates that crypto is a viable um, asset class or crypto or viable currency is that Visa and MasterCard provide debit cards to spend your crypto the exact same way they provide debit cards to spend the cash in your bank account. Now, we all know Visa and MasterCard. They're worldwide known brands, and there's no way they are going to attach their name, their reputation, their their um, industry standards to a an asset or something that is not legitimate, right? Mm -hmm. So I proudly carry my three visas and my MasterCard 
to spend my crypto. So believe me, I know that you may have heard all kinds of stuff about cryptocurrency, but it is real. It is usable. You can pay for stuff. You can get groceries. You can travel. I've done all kinds of stuff with my crypto. So those are my top three reasons why I think everyone should get involved with crypto right away. So that said, now we've talked a little bit about crypto, what it is, and what we talk about so much what it is, but we talked about how it is something that's viable and why we want to pay attention to it. Let's talk about using it or accepting it at your place of business. People who have crypto, like myself, we want to spend it. So if you as a business owner say, hey, I accept cryptocurrency, you are opening yourself up to a new market that is looking for places that accept cryptocurrency. And believe me, you don't have to be a guru. It's not complicated and you can set it up for zero dollars. It is super, super simple. So there's two ways really that you can accept cryptocurrency. Well, there's more than two, but we'll, we'll focus on the main two. The easiest way is just to do it wallet to wallet. Now, I may be using some terms you're not familiar with if you are brand new, but again, this is just to kind of give you a quick overview of the possibility of accepting crypto for your business. Once a client or customer pays you with cryptocurrency, it's yours. You can do whatever you want. You can save it and let it increase in value, hopefully. Or like I said, you can spend it with your Visa or MasterCard, crypto debit card. So it's just another payment option for you to receive payment from your clients or customers. Now, this way is ideal if you are a smaller operation, if you are taking payments one client at a time, it's so easy to do. And I'm going to show you just the four steps required to accept cryptocurrency wallet to wallet. The first thing you have to do is decide which cryptocurrency or currencies you want to accept. There are tons of them. And on another occasion, we can get into why accept some and not others. But that's your first step is to decide which ones you want to accept. Then you need a wallet that will hold that type of crypto. So I just have up uh, MetaMask. MetaMask is a very popular, very reputable cryptocurrency wallet. And this, I'm just using Ethereum for an example. So this wallet accepts Ethereum. You see over here, Ethereum mainnet, right? So let's say, for example, this is the wallet I'm going to use to accept payments of, in Ethereum. So all your client has to do is get your QR code or your wallet address. They're going to go to their wallet and they can simply scan if they scan your QR code, your address comes up and then they're just going to hit send. And then you will have the Ethereum payment from them. And believe me, it takes seconds. It's not something that you have to wait around, make sure it processes it. You'll get confirmation rather quickly. The last step, because it's an Ethereum payment, if you are doing payments online, for example, then you need to provide a space for them to include their wallet address so you can confirm payment. Now, this part, again, is only if you're doing something that's not in person. If you're at the salon and you're doing that immediately, boom, wallet address, you know where the, where the payment came from, you don't need this part. But if you have other something that you're doing online, selling online, um, that people are placing an order and you want to let them pay in crypto, then you need to um, give them a place to confirm their payment using their wallet address. Okay, I hope that made sense. Okay, good. Thank you. Um, so th this is <laughs> example of a of an order form that I have online. So I accept crypto payments. Then I have your, your Ethereum wallet address and they will put it here. So once they put it there, then I can go, I can see when I received a payment and I can see where it came from. So I know that that order is confirmed because it was paid in cryptocurrency and I can process it. Again, this is for a small operation. You're doing things one at a time. You don't have, you know, 10, 50, 100 people coming through every few minutes with an order. This is the small way to go. And this is the way that costs you $0. Okay? So far, so good? We got Anything in the chat? Oh, we have some yeah. questions? 
You want to do that now? Or do you want me to go ahead and finish up first? Um, the, these two questions are pretty good. They're coming from the same young lady. So okay. this is a good question. How did uh, we choose crypto over other forms of investments? So that's a good question. Why did you choose crypto over other forms of investment? Because they, some of them, they know that I do um, investing with stocks st in the stock market and trading. So they know that I do that. And then there's also Forex. But here mm -hmm. we're talking about crypto in particular. So what was your, you know, you, you have a deciding factor, but what made you choose crypto over investing in the stock market? Uh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a really good question. Let me finish this up. <laughs> I want to. I want to turn. Like, I want to be able to see so I can talk. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm such a visual. But that is an excellent question, and I'm going to answer it because we're almost done. Just a few minutes. Okay. Good question. All right. So that is what you do if you're a small business. A very few clients or customers daily. You can do that one at a time. If you're a larger operation, let's say you have an amazing website and you're selling goods all the time on your Shopify, for example. In that case, then you have to look at a cryptocurrency payment app. Now, this one is not free. There is a fee. The same way Visa and MasterCard charge you a fee to accept credit card payments, right, or debit card payments, then cryptocurrency payment apps do the same thing. There's a fee to process cryptocurrency payments. Now, I have not used a cryptocurrency payment app. I did a Google search. These came up as the top ones. What's that, six? The top six. <laughs> I don't have any personal experience, so you have to do your own research. But I do mention here that you want to research fees, processing time, limits, rules. You want to look at reviews, ease of use. All of that is to be considered when you accept, if you decide to use a payment app. And this, again, is for if you're a larger operation. Okay? And that's essentially it. That is how easy it is to accept cryptocurrency payments. Again, once you have your crypto, you can hold it. You can change it to dollars, you can sell it, trade it, or you can use your debit card to spend it. Now, if you're considering doing this, like anything else, like I said, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not a tax professional. You'll want to talk to someone to make sure that you are in compliance. They're going to tell you how to do your record keeping. Um, and I will say this, it would be ideal to talk to a tax professional with cryptocurrency experience. And there are more out there. They're getting to be more and more tax professionals with cryptocurrency experience. The value of cryptocurrency does change. It is volatile. So you have to keep very good records, the time of the transaction and what the value was at that time. Crypto transactions, the way that I told you, the wallet to wallet, it's irreversible. So you want to remember that. And if you're using one of those third-party payment platforms that I talked about, those crypto transactions can immediately be converted to fiat or U.S. dollars or whatever the currency is in your country. So that's just a few things to consider. Um, and I'm, oh, the book again. Okay. So thank you all very much for being here, for listening to that. Now let's get to the answer to this question. Let me stop sharing. <laughs> you want this question. This yeah, because really I'm good. loving this question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Candace, thank you for your question. This is my, my view. When I started getting into cryptocurrency, I was not an investor. Not really. Nothing of any import. But I also started to get a financial education. I started to understand how um, the value of the dollar is seriously on the decline. And I just chose not to deal with investments that were so li closely linked to the dollar. It's that simple. I just didn't want to do that. I felt that crypto was the future. That's where we were going. So it made more sense to me to get into that area as opposed to dealing with something that, again, is tied to the dollar. Um, that said, I don't know if you guys heard this. <laughs> it was not on any major U.S. news outlets that I could find, and I looked. <laughs> <laughs> but at the end of March, Russia tied the ruble to gold. Now, y'all remember the U.S. dollar used to be on the gold standard in before 1971. So Russia has put its money back on the gold standard. In addition to that, they have said you can only buy Russian oil and gas with the ruble. Now, 
again, this is my financial education. This is not financial advice. I'm just sharing information. Also, I want to mention I'm not a political person. I'm just stating facts. I don't get caught up in that. <laughs> just sharing what's happening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, so when we consider the power, the, the dollar, the U.S. dollar has been in power so long because it controlled the oil. You had to buy oil with dollars because that was the currency that was agreed upon. That's what has given the U.S. power, the U.S. dollar so much power for so long. So now with this whole shift happening, the rubles start to go. You have to buy the countries that buy Russia's oil and gas are having to use rubles. <laughs> so what does that leave the dollar? The value that the ruble has to gold and I have this all written out. I'm happy to share it if somebody wants to see it. Yes. <laughs> because it's fascinating. It is. I'm going to email it to you. You can share it with your with Yes, your group. I'm going to share it. So the, I don't remember the specific numbers, but the value that the ruble has to gold has automatically reduced the value of the dollar by 30, 30%. Just like that. Nobody's talking about it, right? Y'all seen it on CNN, Fox, CNBC? Everything Nobody's else is being talked about. about. Everything is a distraction except for the things that we should be concerned about, which is our financial stability. I mean, the other stuff, we can't do anything about that. I mean, we adjust accordingly. Let's just, and let me let me rephrase. That's my feeling. I'm going to do whatever I can to be best prepared as I can. I mean, you know, nothing's guaranteed. Nothing at all is guaranteed. But I'm gonna at least know what's going on so I can try to move smart. Smart, yeah. And mine's is I started off in investing. So that's where I come from with Dr. Marsha Dawson. You guys know of her. She'll be back on the scene again. Um, but that's what I started off with. And me going into cryptocurrency <laughs> is working with uh Robin Tiller. She's she's a friend of ours. So she introduced me to Ansela again, once again about crypto. And me wanting to go into crypto has a, uh, and I'll just be honest, it has a biblical um, background from it. I mean, it says it is, it's going to eventually not be worth what we think it's going to be. And not only that, um, our money and our currency has changed over the years. And we are in a, we are in a place where this transition is happening underneath our noses and we need to be awakened to this happening because this means our lives we have to have currency or money to live so <laughs> and to enjoy life so that's one of the reasons why i've decided that choosing crypto actually not necessarily switching over but actually using them both to my um advantage so mm -hmm. i'll be showing that totally different of how I'm going back and forth with investing in crypto because just like anybody else I'm still learning as well but there is another question that Candace asked and mm -hmm. I really want you to answer this because <laughs> I know you're going to answer <laughs> <laughs> you know um okay let's let's take it one at a time so the will this eventually replace the dollar um as a global currency I'm not sure but I will say this, many countries are already making Bitcoin. Of course, that's the biggest and the most expensive, most popular, the, the granddaddy of crypto. People are already, countries are already ex, um, establishing Bitcoin as legal legal tender. El Salvador did it last year. I heard, I, I, I'm not positive who's official, but I heard Argentina was thinking about it. Um, Jamaica's doing something with it too. But I did hear today, breaking news, the Democrat, Democratic Republic of Congo has officially made Bitcoin legal tender. Now, in the crypto space, there's a lot of conversation of if that's good, if that's good or bad. Again, I don't get caught up in that. I see what's happening and I have to move best I can for me. Um, so when you see countries ex adopting Bitcoin as legal tender, because the mark, the um, economy is global now. Because everybody does business with everybody. We're online, right? Every, I've ordered stuff from uh, other countries. Not to mention that you can purchase digital products from anywhere in the world. So the economy is global. So the more countries that adopt Bitcoin as legal tender, that will become common. 
I don't know if it's going to replace a dollar, but it will be common. And as you said in another comment, Candace, it gives you options. That's yeah, the beauty of it. That is the beauty. It gives you options. And and adding to that, before I get to the second part of your question, cryptocurrency levels the playing field. Because guess what? A Bitcoin is a Bitcoin here, the UK, Africa, Australia. A Bitcoin is a Bitcoin anywhere on the planet. So you don't have to worry about conversions and, oh, this money is worth less than that money. And if I go, like right now, if I go to Ghana, one US dollar is worth five Ghana CDs. So if I'm bringing my money from Ghana here, what does that make me? Broke. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, seriously. True. But you don't have that in crypto. It's everybody, all. it's the same everywhere in the world. Sending money uh, to other countries, free. Just another Ukraine example. So when the war in Ukraine started, the people who wanted to support the Ukrainian government or army or whatever, they started sending crypto, like millions of dollars of crypto. No barriers. And I don't know how many of you have traveled abroad or if you have family in other countries. There are so many places on this planet who are, the people are just financially underserved. I mean, really, really, really financially underserved. There's times that uh, I've heard stories that you send your family money in another country when they go to get it, there is no money available. Like the transaction is there, but the bank has no money. So <laughs> crypto just, it just, it's a game changer, you know, so those two things. So let's go back, Candace, to your other part <laughs> or be worth more than USD. <clears throat> so that's already happened. The Bitcoin got as high as $63,000 for one Bitcoin. 63,000. Now it's not that high right now, but it was. Um, in 2021, like mm. the example I shared, I got a theorem at $200 and it went up to 48. So a lot of cryptocurrencies are already worth more than a dollar, a whole lot more. So, yeah. <laughs> this takes some time. Yeah, mm -hmm. This takes time for a mind shift too. Um, right. From you know, and, and this is a mind shift that's more like a transition because you're still going to be dealing with money. You're still going to be dealing with paper money for, uh, for a minute, but you need to be on the right side of this this journey of uh, financial uh, freedom. I'll say that instead of it's education, but th there's no freedom if you don't actually use this this knowledge that's being given to you. So we, we've partnered up specifically to help you. We're both strategy coaches. So we've partnered up to, to offer this. Some of you are already in business. Um, you've been doing it for a while. And this is just another form of income for you while you're doing the things that you love. I mean, me, me and Ansela, we're, we're good working for ourselves. <laughs> we'd rather just work for ourselves and share what we're learning with you all, but there are those of you where this is your passion and we're just, we're providing tools to make this passion more fun for you, more for your heart, because your bills are getting taken care of. You feel free financially because you are in control of what's happening with your wealth and your money and your income and your clients and all of those things. So if you guys have more questions, we are so happy to help. But if you don't have more, don't think this is the last you will see us. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys have more questions or statements or anything, let us know. Um, Ansel, do you want to mention what you're going to be doing May 1st? We may be popping up. Oh, yeah. Thank you for that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so I get you. <laughs> oh, you're so awesome. Um <laughs> So yes, I'm a crypto coach, as, as we mentioned, and I have been doing a program called Six Weeks to Crypto Confidence, because what I find is people are diving into crypto like it's a lottery, and they think they're going to get a coin, and in a few weeks, it's going to be worth lots of money. But there's so much understanding that's required to really be successful in crypto. So I do not focus on telling you what coins to buy or anything like that. I focus on helping you understand how this stuff works. 
But what has happened is I have people who have graduated from my course and they want more. So I'm relaunching, but this time it will be tiered because in the past it was primarily for new people. This time we're going to have a newbie circle for those who are new. We're going to add the trader circle for people who already we finished the newbie. Now we have some trading ideas and they just want to stay connected to get ideas. Y'all know how it is with, with money. You want to see what everybody's doing, get some feedback. So we'll have the trader circle. And lastly, that third tier is I will be offering coach training. So for people who also want to be crypto coaches, I will be doing that as well. And that will be, of course, a little bit longer, a longer commitment. But the goal is to have more of us helping more of us. That's that's what I want to do, because it's just so much potential. I feel that we're missing out on because many of us are not learning the rules to the crypto game. And I really, in my heart of hearts, you know, we didn't have a lot of the financial um, opportunities that some of our counterparts have had throughout history. We all know that. So many of us, we didn't learn the money game the right way. I know I didn't. I did not. I was winging it. So I feel <laughs> like... <laughs> Seriously, I mean, I never, I, I was never a money, you know, I was surviving. I was making decent money, but I wasn't planning. I wasn't investing. You know, I made it, I spent it. I, I wasn't missing meals, but I definitely, when I closed my salon, I realized how little I did know about you money know? <laughs> when you it stopped coming in every day, right? <laughs> so since we didn't do the money game right, I want us to do, I feel like crypto is a chance to do it over. This is our do-over. So let's learn it right. Let's learn these strategies. Let's see what these successful people are doing in the financial space. And not to mention, all, I won't even get into all the other things that crypto and blockchain offer, the ownership. If you're a creative person, if you draw, if you write poetry, if you write music, you have ownership. Y'all remember the time when, you know, I know y'all saw the new edition story. Yeah. <laughs> and they got robbed. Those boys yeah. were robbed. They were robbed. You know, they didn't make a percentage of the money they should have been making. They were just pimping them out, having them sing, and taking them back home to the projects. Come on. But now we know better. Because of blockchain, you have ownership. Every song you write, you have ownership. You can program, for lack of a better term, a song on the blockchain. And every time somebody uses that song or downloads that song or plays that song, you get a royalty. No one has to, mon no one has to monitor it. It's automatic. Because that's what the blockchain does. But I don't want to get too deep into that. But yeah, it's it's just changing, changing businesses, changing institutions. It's just changing everything. And I just don't want us to miss out. Miss out, yeah. I, I really would love for us to um not miss out on this, but also have a, a open mind. Uh we're gonna have to change some old thought patterns and some old belief systems, uh, especially women around work. <laughs> Working for yourself and and and, and helping others and, and being a, an asset more so than a liability to self. <laughs> so we got to get our brains prepared for this 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 middle transition. So we're not all the way there yet. We're just in the beginning stages of it. So the, the Can mindset. Can I share my aspect, numbers? Yes, please. please. <laughs> so I went to, uh, y'all, this was mind blowing. And I really wish I had my notes in front of me for exact numbers, but I remember pretty closely. There is a um, melanated female doctor who is also a statistician, statistician in the government, U.S. government. So she, she, said, well, she shared some interesting numbers. <laughs> Overall, female entrepreneurs average about $160,000 a year. That's any woman on business, regardless of race or background, $161,000 a year average. Now, if you break that down, white female-owned entrepreneurs average $202,000 a year. So that's one sixty one dollars for everybody, $202,000 for white women only. Can someone guess in the chat What's the average for the black woman owned, the annual black woman owned business? What does she make annually? Don't Just give, give me some guesses. Good guess. Don't worry about being right. I yeah, right. yeah. You, you know, we are sister friends here, so we're good. 
What do you all think? What do you all think? If white women get 202,000, everybody is at like 160,000. What's the black woman business at? Okay, I want to comment and see. Whoa. Like yes. I see. Yeah. 25,000, <laughs> y'all. 25,000. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> now, this is her insight into why that's the case. And this makes a lot of sense. If you think about us throughout history in this country, we have, well, other countries too but we were talking about us, we have provided not only our personal labor for nothing or little or no, or no money, right? Yes. We've also supplied laborers for no money. So we have to think how that affects our view of our worth. Think about it. And I'll tell y'all up front, and I, I am not, uh, I hope not to offend anyone because in my heart of hearts, I don't dislike anybody. I'm just speaking facts. I have been to sessions of white women entrepreneur business roundtables, and those women drop those high fees without blinking. And I know for a fact, including me, oh, is that too much? Maybe that's, will they be able to afford that? <laughs> that's what, you know, that's what we do. That's what we do, yeah. That's what we do. So we have to change our thinking about our worth, about our labor, about the time we spend, even about the money that we're putting into investments. We have to do a full over mind shift. And it's not easy. I still struggle with stuff. I'm getting better, especially when I'm <laughs> with different people and I'm seeing stuff that they're offering. And I'm like, I know myself is better than that. So, yeah. Yeah. The, it, the, oh, it's it's bad, though. Um, not only that, it's the intentions behind the things that you do as well. A lot of us, mm -hmm. our intentions are so off kilter. We're not in alignment to our true purpose, period. I mean, we, we want to do these things, but we're not thinking about the energy, the correct intention behind you doing this, especially if it's supposed to fill your cup as well. But a lot of right. us are doing things and it's we're we're pouring, 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 and nobody, you're not even pull, you're not even filling your own cup. That's the first person who should be filling your cup. So yeah, it's not easy where our, our values are off, our understanding of our own personal values are off. Um, the way we approach um time and money, like exchanging <laughs> dollars for time, you know, like there's a lot that we need to shift. Are thinking we're not saying don't do these things we're not saying don't work you have to work but let it be things you enjoy doing and a lot of you enjoy doing this but the financial stress is making it hard for you to enjoy doing something like this for helping people it doesn't matter what it is mm -hmm. so yeah that will may 1st is that when you bring in this may 1st yes. <laughs> well thank you look i got all of topic i'm sorry yeah, I just <laughs> yeah no you're good, you're good. <laughs> So what we're doing is um, because this is a very, it's for one thing, it's my, my relaunch. So I want to be very strategic about who's on this program. People are going to be committed. It takes work. It takes time. So I am doing like a little mini interview process where I'm asking people to just fill out a quick form. We communicate via email, and then I'll invite you to the launch that we're having on May 1st. What's the best way to do that, Bianca? Just have them message if they're interested or, or what's the, I'm saying Bianca, looking at the oh, next <laughs> yeah. Well, if you send me that information, what I do tend to do is put everything down in the description box of um, videos. And I do try to send things by an email, but I know everybody's eyes is on YouTube. So look in the description box. That's probably where I'm going to be putting it. Okay, but, so um, we'll put the, the link to that um, That's the link mm. to everything for um, Crypto Vibes. Um, it's down in the description box. So if you guys want to know anything else that Ansela is doing, that link links to everything that she's doing. Any upcoming webinars, events, um, this that she's speaking of that's coming up, we put those links. I put those links down in the description box. That's why you hear YouTubers say it all the time. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, you know, let's do that because I I don't have that form on the website because I kind of want it to be a warm connection. I don't want somebody to stumble across it. 
So mm -hmm. since you all are here on this platform, if you do go to CryptoVibes.com, again, that's my link tree. At the bottom, you'll see where you can send me an email and just say, um, I want to come to the launch or May, interested in May 1st, anything like that. So I know exactly what it is you want. Then I can send you the form and we'll go from there. I think that's a little bit easier. I think that's a cool. Yeah, that's easier. We can okay, do that. So let's do that. Because this is work. That. This is work. It's important. It's, it's education. It's knowledge. It's feeding you first. So you're feeding yourself by getting involved and actually putting in the work to learn this for your benefit. Don't worry about anybody else. This is all about you, your personal needs and your personal goals. So look at it from that perspective. Um, this mm -hmm. is the last question Bianca has here. What What is a feasible, scalable way to start accepting payments in your um, business? Yes. Great question, Bianca. Thank you for your patience, too, because I've been rambling. But um, <laughs> what we talked about today was just probably the easiest way to do it just have your QR code or your wallet address. So let's just say you do have a salon, right? And so you would print out your QR code, put it in like a little frame or something that's going to last because you don't want to have to keep printing it. And then when your client comes in, you say, hey, I accept crypto. Like, oh, I'll pay you. I accept Ethereum or Litecoin or whatever you decide to accept. Then when they pay you, if they have crypto they want to pay you with, they're already going to know how to do this, typically. So you just give them your <laughs> QR code, they are going to go with their phone and scan it, boom, 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 send your payment, and that's it. That's that's the easiest way to start accepting payments. Just putting up a sign, I accept, I would be very clear, I accept and put the type of crypto that you want to accept. And um, it, it, in some, at some point, I'll be getting into that too, because um, online, uh, working with clients that have online um, shops that they sell wigs or they sell jewelry or they sell shoes. They, they sell things online. So us partnering up is to introduce that you can accept cryptocurrency. So at some point after we get this kind of implemented and, and enough people know and they're using it, I could kind of help with those that are looking to scale it a certain way. Um, if you're talking about your business being online as opposed to being in a salon where you're working with people one on one. But when you're in a salon or you're dealing with things online and digitally, I'm pretty sure there are specific ways you probably should be doing this for your security and your client mm -hmm. security. Right, Ansela? So right. when we get that's there, was, we'll get there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's what I was saying about the, the payment apps. Like, um, yeah. well, well, I can't think of there one. I have, but y'all know. I have Coinbase. Crypto.com, Coinbase is the one that I use. Okay, so now those are exchanges, but I mean the the, the processing, the payment oh, okay. processing yeah. apps. Oh, hold on. Let me pull up one because I can't think of anyone. Coinbase, Coinbase Commerce, Electronium, Circle, BitPay. Those okay. are cryptocurrency payment apps. So what you do then is you set up an account with them. And, you know, just like if someone comes in and swipes their visa or taps their visa now, right? Taps their visa and it goes through your, your clearinghouse, they used to be called. And the clearinghouse says, okay, we're going to pull this money out of their account and we're going to send it over to Bianca's account. And they charge you a few a couple cents, a few dollars, depending on what, you, what the value is. These platforms are going to do the same thing, but with crypto. It's going to say, okay, I'm going to take this. Um, money online from Nakia's account because she's buying some beautiful dresses from Bianca. And you're gonna they're gonna pull that from your wallet because you're gonna pay online on their platform. Then they're gonna say, okay, this goes to Bianca's wallet, and they're gonna take their fee. Exact same process. It's just crypto as opposed to dollars. Dollars, yeah. And it's from and again, that is secure because they are responsible for making all of that happen. And that's, again, I always say, make sure you're going to deal with reputable, reliable platforms because there's no going back for crypto. It's irreversible. So once it's done, it's done. So you got to be very sure that they're handling their business. I hope that was helpful. I hope that was helpful. For those that of you that are watching on the Wig Making 101 platform, if you're not aware, um, that channel or this channel, if you're on it, is going to be um, rebranded. So you're you're seeing the, the beginning fruits of what's to come to help those of you that are in the beauty and 
the fashion industry because I'm, I'm from the fashion industry as well. So we're both beauty and fashion, but um, we're, we're going to be um, bringing some more information to you guys on that. So we would love for you all to check down in the description box. If you have any questions or you need to contact us, that information is down there as well. Ansa, I do. I want to thank you so much. You are so straight to the point, very simple. Uh, if you guys don't get her book, because I'm a three-step person too, that's how I like to coach. She does the exact same thing. It's three <laughs> simple steps. Don't overthink it. Um, but we definitely want you guys to cop that cop her book for real. We really do. So that you can start to get familiar if you're not. And as you start to see us more on YouTube and, or whatever platform we're on, um, hopefully we'll be of encouragement to you all. And, Get y'all butts in on the right side of this this crypto <laughs> world. So, Ansel, thank you so much. We want to thank you all for watching. It's going to be here. It's live. You guys can come back to this if you've missed anything from the beginning. Um, you will hear from us very soon. We will be back on live. For those of you that are on the Wig Making 101 platform, I am starting to open out the classes for you. Um, I'm just going to be putting them right on this channel. So I've already started. Um, check those out. And without further ado, we're going to close it here. And we're going to enjoy our Sunday evening. <laughs> Again, Ansela, thank you. And to thank all you, of you, you, all have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. And we will be seeing you again. Bye, everyone. Yeah, this is thank you. <laughs> Bye, everyone.